Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is Science and Nature. Let's get to it. Question 1. Who developed the first microscope? Is it A. Francis Crick B. Nikola Tesla C. Zacharias Janssen or D. Marie Curie The answer is C. Zacharias Janssen. Zacharias Janssen, a Dutch spectacle maker, is credited with inventing the first compound microscope around 1590. Legend has it that he stumbled upon this groundbreaking invention while experimenting with lenses in his father's workshop, forever changing our ability to explore the microscopic world. Question 2. Which drug can be given to prevent blood clots? Is it A. Ibuprofen B. Morphine C. Paracetamol Or D. Aspirin The answer is D. Aspirin. Aspirin, often found in household medicine cabinets for headaches, has a superhero side, it can prevent blood clots. By inhibiting platelets from sticking together, this humble pill reduces the risk of heart attacks and strokes. It's like having a tiny guardian inside your bloodstream, keeping things flowing smoothly. Question 3. What is the word for a young grasshopper? Is it A. A bunny B. A duckling C. A nymph Or D. A poult The answer is C. A nymph A young grasshopper is called a nymph. Unlike many insects, nymphs look like miniature versions of adult grasshoppers but without wings. They undergo several molts, shedding their exoskeletons as they grow, before finally developing into fully winged adults ready to hop and fly. Question 4. What is ichthyology the study of? Is it A. Fish B. Oceans C. A variant of physiognomy or D. The Islam. The answer is A. Fish. Ichthyology, the study of fish, dives into a world where some species can walk on land, glow in the dark, or even change gender. With over 34,000 known species swimming through our waters, ichthyologists uncover secrets that are stranger than any fish tale. Question 5. Who was the first person to notice canals on Mars? Is it A. Giovanni Schiaparelli B. John Herschel C. Mary Ward Or D. Galileo Galilei The answer is A. Giovanni Schiaparelli Giovanni Schiaparelli, an Italian astronomer, first observed what he called canali on Mars in 1877. These canals sparked wild speculation about Martian civilizations. Interestingly, the term was mistranslated into English as artificial waterways, fueling imaginations and inspiring countless works of science fiction. Question 6. Which color is between green and violet in the visible spectrum? Is it A. Blue B. Red C. Yellow Or D. Orange The answer is A. Blue Blue, the color nestled between green and violet in the visible spectrum, is often associated with calmness and serenity. Interestingly, ancient civilizations like the Egyptians were among the first to create blue pigments using lapis lazuli, a precious stone more valuable than gold at times. Question 7. What is campanology the study of? Is it A. Diseases of the lungs B. Evolution C. Mushrooms 
or D. Bell ringing. The answer is D. Bell ringing. Campanology, the study of bell ringing, isn't just about making noise, it's a precise art form with roots in medieval Europe. Bell ringers use mathematical patterns called changes to create intricate sequences. Some peals can last over three hours, requiring both mental and physical endurance. Question 8. What is the word for female raccoon? Is it A. A lioness B. A hembra C. A sow Or D. A jill The answer is C. A sow. A female raccoon is called a sow, just like female pigs. These clever creatures are known for their dexterous front paws and masked faces. Sows are excellent mothers, often raising their kits in tree hollows or abandoned burrows, teaching them essential survival skills before they venture out on their own. Question 9. What name is given to the single supercontinent that existed 200 million years ago? Is it A. Gondwana B. Pangaea C. Laurasia Or D. Rodinia The answer is B. Pangaea. Pangaea, the colossal supercontinent that existed around 200 million years ago, was so vast that it stretched from pole to pole. This gigantic landmass eventually split apart due to tectonic forces, giving birth to the continents we know today and dramatically reshaping Earth's geography and climate. Thanks for joining our scientific safari. Remember, in the jungle of knowledge, curiosity is your compass. Until next time, keep exploring and stay naturally curious. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Goodbye for now, until we meet again tomorrow. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.